Hi, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. Let's walk through some cool features in PDQ inventory. So in inventory, obviously, contains uh, lists of computers in your environment. If you want to add a computer to your database, you simply go to the computer menu and add computers. Here you can type in the name of your computers, you can uh, grab them from Active Directory, uh, or you can import them from text files if you have, uh, if you have those configured. We also recommend, however, if, you want, uh, if you're using Active Directory um, and you're using Pro or Enterprise mode, that you go into your Preferences, Active Directory, and enable Active Directory synchronization. This way you can add and remove computers uh, automatically into PDQ inventory based off of uh, your Active Directory. So that's what we recommend. Now, PDQ inventory, we do everything or so many things based off of collection membership. A collection is simply a group of computers. You can have static collections, uh, which are computers that you manually add into a specific collection for whatever reason. But the vast majority of collections are known as dynamic. These are uh, groups of computers that are based off of certain criteria. For example, we have some out-of-the-box collections. You can create all the new collections that you want, by the way. Uh, for example, memory. I can see uh, this collection shows computers that have more than 17 gig, 17 gig or more of memory. Uh, even some that have 5 to 8 gigabytes. And the, the filters for these are very, very simple. Here we simply say in this one, a computer, uh, a computer has memory in the range of 5 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes. Once again, create these, modify them all you want. And a real, real cool uh, feature with collections is obviously tracking your applications, your versions, and your run times. Now, if you have enterprise mode, we highly recommend that you utilize the collection library. The collection library, we keep this up to date for you, and your console automatically syncs with our servers to always represent the latest versions of certain things, such as uh, Flash. Let's look at the Flash plugin. Here we have 35 computers that have Adobe Flash. It's for Flash for like Mozilla in this case. There's also Flash for IE. You can see that collection. Of those 35 computers, 31 have the latest version. And you can see the latest version is right there, 20.00.286 as of this recording, which means we have four that have a version below that. Now, if I wanted to see which versions are on these, I can either open these computers individually and look, uh, such as I can go open up Abraham, go into Applications, and we'll see uh, Flash Player, MPAPI, that's the plugin, is version 18. Or you can create um, uh, reports, PDQ inventory reports, to say, show me all the, all the versions of Flash, or et cetera. But here I know these machines need the latest version. Uh, this is cool. If you use PDQ Deploy and you, ha you uh, utilize the package library, guess what? I could simply right-click on this Flash plugin old, go to Tools, and PDQ Deploy. As long as I've imported the latest Flash package from PDQ Deploy, we type in the filter here. This will pull up your Deploy uh, database. Say, do you have, in this case, show me all my Flash packages? And there it is. There's a uh, 2000267. Nope, I need a later one. There we go. Looks like I moved that over to old. And uh, hit Deploy. Guess what? I have now just said, get these four machines up to date with the latest Flash package. So it has great integration with PDQ Deploy. And I, I know so many of you um, utilize PDQ Deploy that, that want to ha have the two working hand in hand. When you open up a computer, I've shown you this briefly before, uh, a computer window, there's your computer window, contains all these different panels. The main computer panel shows you basic information about that computer from the uptime, the OS, the amount of memory, uh, the version of IE, uh, all the way on down to even Active Directory uh, criteria such as, you know, the, the path in, in, in AD, um, as well as the CPU of that target machine. So the computer is a, panel is a great place to hit. Applications, very popular, shows you all the applications that are registered on this computer. And if you have um, PDQ inventory in Pro or higher, you can initiate uninstalls. Just so you know, if I want to uninstall, let's see, if I want to uninstall... Um, and we'll just do ActiveX. Any type of uninstall, if it uh, has an MSI exec in the command, you can pretty much hit run, 
And for the most part, that's going to do that silently. If it doesn't, if it has a regular EXE or something, you still have to submit the silent parameter. Check out some videos on how to find different common silent parameters for your systems. And then just to take a gander through here, you know, from, from running processes to, uh, to services, etc. you can see the state of, of all your computers. Of course, that's looking at the computer individually. By the way, notice I just deployed those, so now there are no computers in my environment that have an old flash. Those four computers have now been uh, recently scanned, and they have the latest version of flash. So there's a lot of great integration. Um, you'll notice the tools menu. I'm going to go back to Abraham. From within the main console window or in the computer window, you'll have tools. What are these tools? Stuff like I can open up the event viewer or I can uh, manage with MMC. Clicking this, you'll see what happens. Just pulls this up so I can do some basic Windows management. If you want to do a remote desktop, as long as you have a remote desktop configured, uh, you can also go to tools, remote desktop or remote assist and initiate those. Maybe you use uh, VNC instead of remote desktop. You can also configure PDQ inventory to launch VNC sessions, uh, not just remote desktop. And cool, if you have pro or enterprise mode, you can create what's called custom tools. We have videos out there. Maybe you, you use Dameware for your remote control and you wanna be able to initiate that from within PDQ inventory. You can do what's called a custom tool, integrate your scripts, uh, all the things that you wanna do, really, there's so many. If you can script it, chances are you can integrate with PDQ inventory. So that's that. Uh, check out our reports. We haven't covered that. And if you have any questions, always hit up our support site. I'm Shane. We'll talk to you later.